out there, Jesse, getting it in, by the way, also before the rain. Yes. So that, that was nice. That was nice. Four, nice 49 surprise. minutes, you only dropped two games. I mean, that, that's how you start a major. <laughs> Is that one of your top five performances ever, potentially? Um, I don't know. I Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I, was, I mean, it was quick. I felt like I executed my game plan. Maybe she wasn't playing her best. But, uh, yeah, I was able to just kind of put my, my foot on the gas, which I think is what I was trying to do the whole time. Um, so, yeah, it worked out. You have such a solid game, but on grass, it's always nice to have a bigger weapon. With mm -hmm. that ace, that was a pretty big hit. Mm -hmm. Have you been working on your serve more for the grass, yes. especially, or just generally? No, definitely well, in general, but definitely on the grass, um, getting that slice serve kind of moving a little bit more, um, mixing up the pace, different spins, mm -hmm. different looks. Um, yeah, definitely that, and then you know, working in some more slice. So, slice. Nolsey's on me Chip about in the charge, slice. Baby. Have you been working also on your trap? Because you have a great volley. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't. I think you can come in more, but mm -hmm. particularly on the grass, the slice yeah. pays off. Or are you going to try to do more yeah. of the transition, get yeah. into the net? Definitely uh, try and come in or at least be comfortable if I have to come in or yeah. whatever the game plan is. Um, use the slice and also just the little feel shots around the net, a couple drop shots. Um, I thought I hit a couple of really good ones today, especially it was a little windy. So against the wind, mm. they worked well. Um, and so yeah, all those little intangibles that can kind of pop up on grass. Uh, yep. I've been working hard on them. So hopefully yeah, that, that pays off the next couple of weeks. You're an all-surface player. I mean, you just got your first title on grass. Obviously, you do so well on hard courts. You're good on clay as well. So if we were playing the game kiss, marry, kill, grass courts, hard courts, clay courts, what are we doing? Um, kill clay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mary Hardcourts, and then I guess Grass. Okay. Yeah. All right. But kiss, that could flip. I don't grass. know. We'll see how this couple weeks go. And maybe, then you can maybe, maybe we'll yeah, link up with, get better. With, with Grass for life. Yeah. I just love Hardcourts because it's a true bounce. Right. So there's no, like, unlucky Not things that can really happen. That, that's really why. I don't mind Clay, but if you're going to put me in that position, yeah. You had some issues, body issues, before the... That's why I didn't play the Roland Garros. Mm -hmm. uh, how is the body on the grass? Because there is a transition mm -hmm. physically onto that. How is yeah. your body holding up there? It's been front? really, really good. Yeah, no issues at all since I've come back, um, which is great. I definitely was patient and took it a little bit... Not slow, but I was patient um, with coming back just because I think French just would have been pushing it a little bit mm -hmm. too much, especially now looking when I heard the weather, it was cold... Balls are heavy. Probably wouldn't have been great for a, for a rib injury. So I'm glad that it, I mean I'm not happy I missed the slam, but I think best case scenario it worked out. And then um, being able to do well in Berlin, I think I was like, okay, yeah, I seem like I I made the right decision. So Absolutely. that's always nice when that pays off. How would you characterize the importance of getting not only your first title on grass, but also your first title with Mark Knowles and Mark Merklin? Yeah, it's always nice to kind of get that week where, you know, you go and you make a change, it's always something different and you're kind of questioning whether sometimes if it was the right change or maybe you shouldn't have changed or, you know, you never know. But I think um, we've been working really hard. So that week was definitely really nice. And, and also just to, to get the get it with them personally because they're really nice and they're great guys. So it's been a lot of fun working with them. And um, it just shows that they've also been putting in a lot of work and time as well. You're playing doubles with Coco here. Coco won with Sinyakova at Roland Garros when mm -hmm. you weren't there. Was it hard getting her away from Sinyakova here? Did you have to, like, pay her off or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sinyakova, yeah, she's an amazing doubles player, too. So I was like, I didn't even know they were playing until they were, like, in the quarters. And I was like, oh, I didn't even really, because I wasn't following that much at home with the time change. So it's funny, but luckily I think I asked her, like, before that. Yeah, I already like here. had it locked down. So <laughs> and she keeps her word. Yeah, yeah. She uh, did. Yeah, yeah. So that's nice. But hopefully we can uh maybe get some momentum here. I know it's not clay, but at least for the Olympics, um it's nice. Obviously her getting a double slam is really cool. And then hopefully, you know, we seem to play well there at doubles. Um so for the Olympics I think it'll be fun. Are you staying in Europe after after this? For I don't think so. I think I'm going to go Just home. Go back. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to go back home and then come back over. Um, we do have a little bit of time. I know some players maybe might play a clay court tournament, but I think, yeah. It'll be much tough. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll be fine. Are, are we playing mixed here at all? I know you're practicing no. with, with Too much. Before. I did. <laughs> I'm not playing mixed. Okay. <laughs> no. Say what Francis wow. said. Tell, tell her what Francis said. Francis said you were the best ball striker on both tours. <laughs> What's your reaction to that? <gasps> You'll He's, take it. I will take it. He also is like my biggest hype man. So he tells me I'm just loaded with confidence whenever I, when I hit with Francis, but yeah, hopefully I'm, I'm glad my, my practice maybe helped him a little bit. He said it was, he said it was all me that got him through that match yesterday. I don't think that's true, but um, I'm glad I was able to, to help a little bit at least. 
but it was it's, fun. It's good that you groove your partner or your uh -huh. sparring partner, but you don't want to groove your opponent, right? No. So that's when the chip and things I know. come yes. in. Yes, it's it's true. I, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I I do hit very clean, and sometimes if I'm not quite moving in enough or mixing it up enough, or the purse like girls also hit very clean. Uh, like they get on to yeah, my ball and yep. people play better against right. me and I'm like what's happening and it You're can change nice. yeah, and it. so that is one of the things that we've been trying to work on with both marks is um when you do feel like that's happening how can we kind of mix this up a little bit more and I think I have the ability to have a lot mm -hmm. of variety I mean I do slice but doing it more as um as a strategy not just as a as a kind of like a fallback or you know, like working it into where I feel confident using it at all times so cool. it's been fun love yeah. that well, great job today, Jesse. Thanks for spending some time with us yes, and best of luck going you. forward. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Go for it. Thanks.